chassis is one of the most important parts for the flex of the car. So logically, we spent a lot of time on it and designed plenty of alternatives. How many? I guess it was at least 15 different designs. The first step was to make one chassis to test and compare all three different motor mount systems. Motor rearward, motor frontward and standard motor mount with split light shaft bulkheads. Extensive tests proved no difference in performance between the split light shaft bulkhead and the new rearward motor mount position. So from that point, I focused only on the one-piece motor mount in both frontward and rearward alternatives. The plan was to design a universal chassis where the driver only had to change the motor mount, belts and top deck to easily swap between those two different configurations. In order to have the both frontward and rearward motor mount alternatives, we had to mill two pockets on each side of the chassis. Unfortunately, the chassis with four milled pockets already had too much flex, so suddenly the car was more difficult to drive. This was not the way to go. To solve that flex issue, I tried to remove two pockets on the battery side, but this resulted in uneven flex. So unfortunately, I had to give up the idea of one universal chassis, so there will be only one motor mount position on the final chassis. After testing a few more alternatives, we came up with the final design for the graphite and aluminium chassis. The last challenge was to design the flex version of the aluminium chassis for medium and low traction carpet tracks. I prepared six different alternatives with different flex cutouts and tested them all in one day under the same traction conditions. Even after the final design was chosen, I was still thinking of how we could possibly mount the shorter suspension arms for some specific, super tight technical tracks. As a solution, I added other mounting positions that will allow you to install the suspension holders for shorter arms. It's the small detail that makes the big difference. 